What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to The Minority Mindset. Isn't social media great? Now we finally have a tool to creep on other people that we have not seen in years and we don't have to worry about anybody finding out. Whoa, Bunty gained a lot of weight. Oh man. <gasps> what? Is he really hanging out with Parminder now? What? But for people with a minority mindset who like to think outside of the box, social media has made it a lot easier to start a business and get known. And this comes with a new wave of stress and anxiety because you're building yourself and then you go on Instagram and then you see all these perfect Instagram people who have these big huge homes and they have these perfect happy relationships and they're driving your favorite fast car and somehow they're always jacked and shredded. Like how does that even work? And you're sitting there struggling to pour your cereal without screwing up. This stress can really affect your life and stop you from getting a good night's sleep because you're constantly worried about looking like a failure to everybody around you and on social media. In one ear, you keep telling yourself to shut up and follow your dreams and in the other ear, you keep thinking, oh man, what if I end up a failure? What is everybody gonna say? Because they've been telling me I'm gonna fail all along. Trust me, I know the feeling. So in this video, I'm gonna go over eight things that you can do to cut down your stress so you can focus your energy on getting things done and defying all odds. First, understand the difference between real life and Instagram life. Let me tell you a little secret. Here, come a little bit closer. Social media is a highlight reel. People aren't posting their real struggles and the real crap that they're dealing with. When you see that 22 year old driving around in your dream Ferrari, you don't know the full story. Maybe they had to take on a bunch of debt to buy that car and they're barely making the monthly payments. Or maybe they had to kill themselves for the last six years just so they could afford that car. Who knows, all you see is them driving the car. And you know that perfect couple that you admire so much? Maybe they're only perfect when the cameras are on. I have met a handful of social media couples that aren't so pleasant to be around when there's no cameras there. I am not trying to put anybody down. I'm just saying you don't see the full story on your side of the screen. People show you what they want you to see on social media. We are all human. We all make mistakes and we all have problems that we're dealing with. So take everything that you see with a grain of salt and don't compare your real life with somebody else's highlight reel. Second. Figure out what's stressing you out. All right, so I want you to think of this kind of like a flow chart. At the top over here, I want you to write what's stressing you out. And then below it, ask yourself, is there something you can do about it? Yes or no? Is it seeing certain people on social media that as much as it hurts, go on to Instagram and unfollow the people that aren't motivating you and that aren't pushing you to be better? Is it your so-called friend that keeps telling you your idea is stupid and that you're gonna fail? If so, then maybe you should reconsider who you keep around you. If it's something that you can control, then you gotta do something about it. Suffering through the same thing day after day after day is only gonna make you miserable. Yeah, it's not easy separating yourself from something that you're so used to, but good things never grow out of comfort zones. Third, restart your mind. Have you ever played Madden with your little brother or sister and you start beating them and they get so upset that they're losing that they run over to the Xbox console and they hit the restart button in the middle of the game just so they can start the game over. Yeah, that's kind of how you want to restart your mind. Now, there's obviously no restart button to life, but you can refresh your mind by thinking about nothing. Everybody has their own way of doing this. You can meditate, you can do yoga, you can work out, you can play basketball. Do something where you're forced to forget about everything. Like if you went to the gym and you started playing a pickup game of basketball, the only thing that's gonna be on your mind is winning the game that you're playing. And then when you're done, your mind feels refreshed because you weren't circling around negative thoughts and now you can look at things with a fresh mind. Ah, isn't that refreshing? Fourth, make yourself busy. You've probably heard people say be productive, not busy, and that makes sense when you're trying to get more things done. But if you have a temporary stress in your life and you just need to get through this week so you can move on and get over everything, then yeah, it's a better idea to keep yourself busy with whatever so your mind isn't accumulating all this negative energy. Cook, clean, work on your business, go to the gym, write a blog, or just stay later at work. Just do something so your mind stays occupied so this thing that's stressing you out can pass by. Fifth, this is more of a preventative tip, but don't use your stress as an excuse to be a slob. We can pretty much justify anything to ourselves if we just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of it. It's like when you put yourself on that strict diet and you tell yourself, okay, 
I'm not going to eat out for a month. And then, oh, I just got a text from one of my best friends who's in town for the weekend and they want to go out and eat at this really greasy restaurant. So uh, they're going to be leaving soon. So I guess it's okay for me to make an exception today. You start off with a small little excuse and then you sprinkle some sugar on top of it and voila. You have just justified whatever you wanted to do. Oh my god, work is so hard. I'm just so like stressed out, you know, and isn't like stressed just desserts backwards? Why don't I just eat this whole tub of ice cream so I'll feel better? Oh man, that was delicious. Mm. Sometimes you need some tough love and that's what I'm here for. Look. Life happens, but don't use that as an excuse to give up on yourself. Pick yourself up and tell yourself you got this. Go to the gym and keep up with your diet and keep up with the work that you gotta do. You owe you. Do this for yourself. Excuses make you weak. If you just let yourself go and you use your stress as a reason to complain and be miserable and just not care about yourself, then sooner or later, you're gonna look at yourself in front of a mirror and you're gonna be even more stressed because now you're 20 pounds heavier and you haven't done anything productive in your life. Sixth, use your stress as fuel. I know this is a lot easier said than done, but if you're going through something hard in your life or you're going through a major change, use it as leverage. Use your pain and your hurt as a reason to go out and win and defy all odds and do big things. You don't need the world's approval. There are 10 million excuses for why you can't, but you just need one reason for why you can. Do it for you. You got this. Seventh, size up. All right, now close your eyes, take a deep breath, and count to 10. Get the emotions out and clear your mind, then size up and look at the problem and see how big of a deal it actually is. Everybody, no matter how reasonable or logical they are, can get caught up in their emotions from time to time. So sometimes you just gotta Take a breather and size up the problem and see how big of a deal this actually will be in your life. Is this thing going to bug you five years from now? If not, then don't spend more than five minutes worrying about it. If it's only going to bother you for the next week, don't ruin your life over it. And number eight, remember when you were growing up and your parents would always compare you to your neighbor's son, Zach, who was always so perfect and so smart and so accomplished and so good at everything that he just always made you feel like crap? Well, don't do that. Actually, try doing the opposite. Go out and give back to people who are less fortunate in your community. There are people that would love to have your worst days and sometimes we forget how fortunate we actually are. Go out and take a homeless person to dinner or go and volunteer at a shelter or a foster home. It'll remind you to appreciate all the little things that you have in life and you'll feel good for helping others. What other tips do you have to be less stressed? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every single week. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.